Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the page, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to this episode of Skip Dashing. Uh, it is a beautiful Friday today in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, I have a skip shift tonight from 5 till 9. It's just after 5 right now. I've logged in to skip the dishes. Haven't been able to sign into DoorDash. Uh, there's no shifts available and all the, uh, the map is gray. So it's obviously not busy enough to, to have extra drivers on. So anyways, just getting stuff loaded up and uh, we'll uh, get my shift underway. Thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, if you guys, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and let's go have some fun tonight. All right guys, just here at the bank um, in the Mahogany Plaza and um, it's only only been 11 minutes, so it's 5.11 right now and still no orders. But I just thought I'd chime in quickly and um, I guess just talk generally about uh, how slow it's been. Um, I know there's lots of talk on like Facebook uh, forum pages and stuff and other videos and comments in my video on how slow it's been with uh, the courier, um, food courier gig economy in, in whole. And um, I don't necessarily know if it's to, if, because of one specific thing, but uh, you know, a lot, I know in my area, at least in Calgary here, really has to do with the weather sort of, uh, and it's been, the past two weeks have been really nice, but then I think back to like January last year when I first started, and I remember the first two weeks were quite slow, and of course while I'm talking I get an order. Um, so who knows, but uh, I'm kind of hoping tonight's going to be busy, uh, there's, it, right now it's 7 degrees outside, it's normally minus 15, so it's, uh, the weather's really really nice right now, and uh, no idea, so. Anyways, guys, this first order is at uh, a w in Auburn Bay, which is just across the road. It's supposed to be picked up at 518. Right now it's 512, uh, and it is going to Inverness, so it's going just north, and it's uh, 5.2 kilometers for $8.50. So I'm going to accept this order, and um, yeah, let's go to a and and pick this up. All right, guys, that uh, order was ready to go. And as I mentioned, this fellow is in Inverness. And uh, let's see. So that's 13 minutes, 4.8 kilometers away. It's a little bit far. It's kind of on the far side of the area, the community. But uh, still a good order. I mean, I was only, only a kilometer away anyways, so. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we are is on the right. almost here. We did get here a little bit quicker. Uh, Google Maps Jane told us a quicker way, so we accepted it. All right, so we are oh, logging to DoorDash while I can. Yes, I've got all my stuff. All right, we are now dashing as well. Okay, so park the customers. Let's go get him his stuff. Hey guys, that order's done. Just as I was getting his food out of the vehicle, I got a DoorDash offer. Uh, it was like $5 and it was going, I think, seven or eight kilometers, so did not accept it. Okay, so that order's done. So $8.50, 5.2 kilometers, which was really close. Uh, it's 5.6. Uh, four dollars for transit, four fifty for tip. So, decent little order, not too bad. And uh, it's five thirty-two right now. We are waiting for skips and dashes. So, I'll just show you guys this order here. So, it's ten thirty-eight with DoorDash, seventeen point six kilometers. So, I got to go to Mackenzie Town to grab it from Forever Good Asian Cuisine and drive it all the way up here. Um, absolutely insane. So I'm not going to accept it. I don't think it would be that far, but it's definitely like closer to 15 kilometers and uh, not gonna do it. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. That's, that's my idea of a, of a crappy order, so. All right guys, got a great order from Skip the Dishes. I uh, just parked here in McKenzie Town uh, shopping center area and I uh, got an order from Ferguson Bix, which is just right behind me. 
and uh, it's going to Copperfield. So it's a very, very good order. It's 3.5 kilometers and it's worth $12.13. So awesome order, accepted it. Uh, we're probably two minutes away from Ferguson Bix. It's supposed to be collected in, in five minutes. So um, let's go. Here's another example, guys. So picking up at Burger King in Shaughnessy and delivering to Copperfield. $12.75 and it's 25 kilometers. <laughs> Decline. Decline. All right, here we're here at Ferguson Bix. Now the struggle, the parking struggle. All right, guys, order was ready. Okay, we are ready to drive. Um, got another DoorDash order that was just dumb. And uh, so I just paused my DoorDash shift. Okay, so this fellow is six minutes, 2.5 kilometers away. Let's go. All right, guys, order's done. Got his food. All right, that was a great order. Two good orders in a row, so $12.13, 3.5 kilometers, $3.50 for transit, and then $8.63 for tip. Another good order. So we're sitting at $20.63, it's $5.55, and uh, been on shift for 55 minutes. That is where we are at. I'm going to unpause my DoorDash shift, see what other kind of crappy orders we can get from them, and uh, waiting for skips and dashes. All right, guys, just got an order from DoorDash. This is at Panda Express on 130th. And uh, the order's worth $11, and it's going about 12 kilometers. I think it's going to McKenzie Lake area. Uh, I was just on the cusp of not accepting it, but I did accept it. So anyways, we're on our way to Panda Express. We're nine minutes, 4.5 kilometers away. Let's go. All right, guys, we're here at Panda Express, we are extremely early. Order is supposed to be picked up at 6.16. <laughs> so I'm not gonna leave you guys on. Uh, that's one of the downsides of picking up here is I found in the past they generally don't uh, start the order until you show up. So anyways, I'm gonna turn you guys off. We'll go in. Uh, so it's 6.04 right now. Let's see how long this takes. All right, I actually messed up, guys, and I brought my wrong bag in. I brought my Skip the Dishes bag in, and they didn't even question it, so it's all right. We are super early for this order. It's supposed to be delivered by 6.43. It's 6.09 right now, so we are early to pick it up. They actually pretty much had it ready in there. They're just really busy. And I'm just going to text the customer and let them know that we are on our way. And uh, this is... Oh, crap. This is far. Oh, I thought this was in... Uh, Mackenzie Lake, but it's all the way in uh, Willow Park. Dang! <sighs> One reason to pay attention when you're accepting the orders. That sucks. All right, well, let's go. Where are you, flashlight? There you are. Hello, flashlight. All right. All right, guys, that order is done. Wasn't a terrible order. I'm just kind of in a weird uh, place right now as far as finishing. So uh, anyway, $6 for base pay, $5 for tip. And that is where we are at. So I'm going to unpause my DoorDash shift. And we are waiting for skips and dashes. So I am in my DoorDash, or I'm in my skip zone, but I am definitely way out of my DoorDash zone so there's I don't really understand why DoorDash does that because if they're gonna send you out of the zone and not give you the option to get uh, orders it doesn't make any sense okay this is a weird order we're going to noodle box which is way north Deerfoot Meadows and then it's going to Olympia Drive which is over in the Riverbend area. <laughs> Weird. Well, heck, let's do it. $9.62, 10.8 kilometers, why not? 
All right, noodle box. Collect at 635. Right now it's 622, and it's going to take us 11 minutes, six kilometers to get there. Let's go. Noodle box. This is a terrible parking lot, but of course, it's terrible because the Costco is here. Otherwise, we have great parking right in front of the noodle box. All right, guys, order was ready. Actually never picked up beside or at this uh, restaurant before. Uh, customer note, curbside pickup. That is awesome. We are ready to drive, and this customer is... 10 minutes, 4.9 kilometers away, and they are in like Riverbend Ogden area. So let's go. All right, guys, order's done. Okay, so that's done. All right, got another order right away. This is at Moxie's on 11th Street which I think is down in uh, um, Deerfoot Meadows, and then it's going to Douglasdale. That actually works out good because it's bringing me back to my area. So I'm uh, going to accept this one. This is $11.46, and it's going 12.1 kilometers. Uh, that last order from Noodle Box was 962, 10.8 kilometers. So 530 in transit, 432 in tip. So decent order. And uh, anyways, we are on our way to... Moxie's should be yeah 11 minutes to 5.2 kilometers let's go all right guys we have arrived at the Moxie's in Deerfoot Meadows okay order supposed to be picked up at 659 at 654 we are early which is perfect let's go in and grab it All right, guys, order was, uh, just have to wait a couple minutes in there. There was another skip driver in there, so we had a little bit of a conversation. He's not doing too bad tonight himself, so it's positive. Hopefully everybody in skip land is making decent money tonight. Okay, so we are ready to drive, and this fellow is in Douglas Dale area. Um... 10 minutes, 7.5 kilometers away. Let's go. Wow, looks like nobody's home. There's a car in the driveway, but there's not a single light on. Anyways, we're here. Let's bring the flashlight and go get this order to this fellow. All right, guys, that order is done. Another order right away. Skip is busy. Okay, Olive Grove Pizzeria, which is really close, and it's going to Riverbend. So this is seven dollars and ninety-eight cents, and it's five point five kilometers. So we're going to accept this order. It's funny; I've been accepting all these skip orders, and my acceptance rating has not jumped up at all. It's been sitting at seventy percent. Uh, it hasn't changed tonight at all, and this is, I think, order number five. So awesome job, Skip. Okay, that that's been accepted. Um, Moxie's order was eleven dollars and forty six cents, five dollars and five cents for transit, six forty one for tip, twelve point one kilometers. Pretty darn close, I think. So we're sitting at forty one seventy one, and then now we've got this Olive Grove Pizzeria order. So let's go pick it up. I have uh, I am logged into DoorDash, but. Uh, haven't got anything. I'm way out of my zone too, so whatever. Not overly worried about it. All right, Olive Grove Pizzeria is six minutes, 1.8 kilometers. Let's go. All right, guys, Olive Grove. Uh, I'm here. Never sure what what uh, bag to bring in, so I just bring in my regular bag. And if I need a big bag, then I'll come get my pizza bag. So let's go. All right, guys, order was ready. We are ready to drive, and this fellow is... So in the north part of Riverbend, so seven minutes, 3.7 kilometers away. Let's go. Oh, well, that was interesting. So I get up to the, uh, the door, and the girl's like, nope. And I was like, uh, you ordered from Olive Grove, right? 
They're like, yeah, but we ordered pizza. I was like, well, uh, I don't know what I have, but there's some food here. Oh boy. Okay, I, I got another order right away. This is Cinzio by Chinook Center. No way in heck am I accepting this order. So, you've got to be kidding me. Cinzio in Chinook Center. And then it's going to... Oh my gosh! It's going downtown. Uh, no. For $8.70 and it's 12.3 kilometers? Absolutely not. Anyways guys, so I just told him to contact Skip. I checked the order off right away. So this is $7.98, 5.5 kilometers, $4 for transit, $3.98 for tip. So uh, it's been delivered, whatever. Skip can deal with it and uh, that's it. So this Cinzio order is expired. I am currently out of my zone and that's why I probably got that weird order. So I wanna start heading back to my zone. Um, yeah, so the order I just got was like picking up uh, over here at Chinook Center and then going all the way downtown. Mental. Oops, absolutely mental. So now that I didn't accept that order, I'm probably not going to get another order for a while. Which is funny. That's the way Skip works. So we're waiting for Skip orders, we're waiting for dashes. I'm trying to make it back to my zone. Hey guys, I just uh, left that last order. It's just down the street here and pulled into the gas station to get some gas. And I got our next skip order. So this one is at the Pita Grill on 18th Street, which is really close. And then it's going to Linwood. Um, so all in all, the order's 2.8 kilometers and it's worth $7.74. So good order. Uh, let's go. All right, guys, order was ready. And this fellow is in Linwood. I've told you that already. We're ready to drive. Okay, and he is six minutes away, uh, 2.3 kilometers. Let's go. All right, guys, order's done. Okay, so that one was Pita Grill, 774, 2.8 kilometers, $4 for transit, 374 for tip. I'll just show you guys here while I've got the map up how far I'm out of my zone. And I was getting a bunch of orders these last three, I think, uh, two or three that were out of my zone. So really, I don't think in our city anyways, really matters. Um, I'm gonna, again, try and head back to my zone. But when I did that last time, I just got matched to another order. So anyways, guys, we're sitting at $57.43. Uh, DoorDash, we were at $11. We did that one order. We're not in DoorDash anymore. So we're sitting at uh, $68.43. And uh, at 7.44 right now. So been on shift for an hour and for two hours and 45 minutes. And that's where we're at. All right, guys, I was just heading back to my zone, got my next order. Um, I accepted it just based on the dollar value and I saw that it was Little Caesars. So it was uh, it was about $10. $10.55. Total distance is 3.1 kilometers. And uh, when I pick it up, it's going to Riverbend. So uh, I'm picking it up at Little Caesars in Riverbend and it's going to Riverbend. So great order. And uh, that's it. So... On my way to Little Caesars, apparently I will be there in four minutes, which is 2.4 kilometers. All right, guys, well, that was interesting. So there's a note on the uh, customer's order saying, please pick up four dips, essentially. So anyways, you have to pay for them at Little Caesars or like 79 cents each or something like that. So anyways, I called the customer when I came back out here to switch my bags and just confirmed that he wanted me to buy the dips. And he said, yeah, yeah, no problem. So anyways, I, I spent $3.30 on the dips. He's gonna give me five bucks for the four dips. So uh, I was totally fine with that. And, um, oops, parked at restaurant. I never checked that off. 
Okay, so order's been collected. All right, and he is, we're ready to drive. And he is five minutes, 1.6 kilometers away. Let's go. Okay, guys, that order's done. Got the five bucks, which is wonderful. Okay, order's been delivered. So that order was $10.55, 3.1 kilometers. Good order. $3.50 and tip was $7.05 plus plus about two bucks on the uh, the dip purchase as well too. So $1.50. So that is lovely. So right now we are sitting at $67.98 on skip plus $11 on DoorDash, so that's $78.98, plus about $2. So we're sitting at $80 right now, and we have been on shift for three hours. So we're doing good. It's actually going really well. I'm, I'm quite surprised and impressed with this shift today. I think there's definitely something to be said about um, doing a shift right after payday. I think that makes a big difference uh, Today's the 31st last day of the month. It's a Friday. So it was payday for a lot of people and I think that uh, Makes a difference. So anyways guys still have an hour left on the shift uh, Again, I'm gonna try and make my way back south uh, I'm, I'm out of my zone again, so um, See what happens All right guys, um Okay, I'll tell you a little bit about what happened here. I'll show you on the map instead. So I finished that last order and then I was coming back south and I got two orders in between then and now. So the first order was pulling me back to this area and delivering to this area, which was out of my zone. I don't understand why they were pulling me that direction when I was about here. And then I got to about here and got another order picking up over here delivering over here so anyways i had to decline both of those because they just didn't make any sense they were like eight dollars and they were going um about 12 kilometers to 14 kilometers so i declined both of those orders now my acceptance ratings back down to about 70 uh, percent somewhere in that range so it's 818 right now and I don't suspect I will get any more orders um, for the night because I declined those two. So anyways, I'm going to end my shift now. And um, that's it. So um, I covered all the orders with you guys. We did $67.98 with Skip. Uh, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orders. $67.98 uh, plus the DoorDash. Uh, the one order for eleven dollars, so that's seventy-eight dollars and ninety-eight cents, uh, plus that little bit of tip. So basically, uh, call it eighty dollars even. Uh, it's eight eighteen. So essentially, we were on shift for three hours. Drove seventy-one point six kilometers. That includes getting back here to the hundred thirtieth area. Uh, just stopping at Superstore to grab some stuff. So, you know what? We haven't had this many orders on a shift for quite some time. Uh, it's actually, it was a really, really good night. Definitely happy with it. Um, you know, ended up making whatever that works out to be an hour, like over $20, which is always positive. So, um, so that is how we finish, guys. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode. Uh, if you guys are thinking about signing up for Skip the Dishes or DoorDash, uh, the information's posted below. Uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, with Skip the Dishes, uh, I need to send you my referral code. So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Have a great day, great evening, wherever, whenever you may be watching this. This is your first time here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, also give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the support. And we will see you next time.